Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about segmentation. Today, we will create an automation together uh, to segment your database. So basically, we will use SQL to create some segment that will automatically uh, segment your database. So let's jump into this. As you can see, I'm in Automation Studio and I will schedule an automation on an hourly basis. So the start date will be tomorrow, tac, 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 and we will run that on an hourly basis and it will never end. So once I do that, I will uh, also uh, take an SQL query. So I will just drag and drop this element here and I will create a new query. So I will say uh, that this query is engage segment and uh, external key will be the same, description the same. And here I will come to copy past this. Tac, tac, tac. And here, so basically, as you can see, what I will do is I will uh, come to take the subscriber data view. I will take the email and the subscriber key. And what I will do is uh, I will say where subscriber click over the last uh, seven days or where subscriber open an email over the last uh, seven days, then uh, add it into a data extension that we will uh, select below. So as you can see here, uh, I will click next and I will select a data extension, a target data extension. So I didn't create it yet. Uh, so I will have to go into email and I will create a new target data extension. So this target data extension will be uh, in email studio. So I will click on that tag in email. Oh, sorry. Uh, I will click on email studio. Yep. What is this? And I will go into data extension. And here I will come to do a new folder, right click. And I will call that segment. Okay. And within segment, I will create a new data extension, a standard one. And we will call it uh, engage segment and this will be sendable no retention settings and here i will come back here and basically i will take mail and subscriber key so that will be like the two field of my data extension feel free to uh use more if you need to so this will be an email address this will be my primary key and here uh why text primary key tag and this will be I'm not sure why. Yeah, subscriber key, okay. And here I will have my uh, engage segment. I will just uh, create a new one. So uh, for example, I will say standard data extension, okay. And I will call that an engage segment. Tac, 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 is sendable. Next, next, email and subscriber. And here, it will be an email address. This will be my primary key. And, and so I have my two segments. So as you can see, engage and unengage. So now if I click next and I go uh, into, uh, so this was not loaded. So I will I will have to rewrite the query. Tac, cancel activity, choose, create new activity, uh, engage segment, engage segment, next, tac, tac. And here segment, and I will do. I will take engage segment, and basically I can overwrite all the time. Finish. Okay, so I've created my engage segment. Now what I can do is I can create a new SQL query, and this time I will call it uh, an engage segment. So an engage segment, and so basically here I will do all the user who didn't interact with my uh, SQL query over the last seven days or thirty days. So basically here I do select. Uh, from my uh, data view subscriber, where uh, and not, where not, and where not. So basically I say, where, select all the subscriber uh, that doesn't uh, that doesn't click or open the subscriber data over, like the, the email communication over the last 30 days. And if I do that, I can validate the syntax. If I do that, uh, I will be able to find uh, like all the where all the subscriber. Uh, I will basically collect all the subscriber that didn't interact with my email communication over the last 30 days. Here I can choose segment and engage segment overwrite next finish. I can save the automation and I can call that segment and I can save it and then so I can click run once 
I'm not sure I will get any result because I never sent any uh, any email activity with this data extension uh, with this business unit. Sorry. Uh, so I just want to click save. Okay, so it, it means that it's running. Yeah. Okay. And now if I go into subscriber data extension, I should be able to find uh, my segment as you can see up here. So, but if I want to get, oh, so it's running. But even if it's running, I don't think I will get any any results. So we will just have a look at it. But basically, that's the way for you to uh, to create some automated segments that are refreshed on an hourly basis uh, into uh, into uh, marketing cloud. And basically, uh, here you can see after in the future, like all the segments will appear. But as I don't have like any data in my my business unit, then it's not appearing. But that's a way of doing it. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you.